Letitia James did what? Hey guys, we're back with another reaction video. It's time we're checking out Letitia James upset and facing jail time after she told this to Jon Stewart. Why don't we just dive into this, see what it's all about, all right? Let's do it. Jon Stewart, okay. Jon Stewart's story comes out. I think it's a New York Post story, mm -hmm. page 11, if you guys want to go to it. Okay, so Jon Stewart found to have overvalued his New York City home, Alina, mm -hmm. by 829%. What? After labeling what? Trump's civil case not victimless, John Stewart criticized Trump's civil case over inflated property value, stating this has never been prosecuted. In response to experts framing the case as non-harmful, it was revealed that Stewart's Tribeca duplex sold for $17.5 million in 2014, a staggering 829% more than an assessed value at 1.882 million. Internet sleuths uncovered Stewart's property history, leading to accusations of hypocrisy. Stewart's penthouse sale price, after exceeded far exceeded its assessed value, raising questions about his own benefit from overvaluation. With political commentator Tim, Tim, Tim Pool alleging, did John Stewart commit fraud when he sold his penthouse for 17 and a half million? If if that's the case. Rob, is this the clip or what? It, what is this here? This is a clip of John Stewart talking about the civil. If that's case. true, true, sure he did eight hundred and twenty-nine percent. That is completely on purpose. No one mismanages money that much, and especially if he made public comments about the Donald Trump Mar-a-Lago estate. I never heard his comments, but if he was on the news blasting Trump for that then you better have your stuff in order because those in glass houses should not be thrown yeah. rocks. Oh my How God. different is this case versus what they're accusing Trump of doing? I, 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 I don't even know where to start with you, it. You almost turned into Anderson Cooper. Right? I almost. You can't make that up. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, so angry by watching that. I actually hadn't seen that. I heard the story. Um, it's no different, but the reality is that Trump actually didn't. If anything, his properties were undervalued. He put Doral at some, a, a, a couple, of, I don't even remember the numbers, but Doral's worth a, way more than it was on there. I mean, the statements were actually undervalued. And... And his statements were prepared by an accountant, accounting firm, not a small accounting firm, a major accounting firm who put a cover sheet saying, do your own due diligence, folks. But this is what we estimate we're worth, mm. just like anybody in New York. It, it's like, OK, let's even say in some made up land, the numbers were high, which they weren't. Let's say that. OK, then you got. A sheet that says right on the front, excuse me, do your do own due diligence. On top of that, who's President Trump going to? Deutsche Bank. He's right. You know what, John Stewart, the only thing that was right, you're right. He went to Deutsche Bank. He didn't go to a mom and pop. He went to one of the highest regulated banks to get to get loans that he actually didn't need. It was solely because of, you know, mortgage. It's what you do. It's how you make money. It's better to have a mortgage sometimes when you don't need it. And they got paid off early. They made money. OK. And who is the victim? Now, in his case, I want to see what they do with it. Is he going to be investigated for three years? Where are you, Tish? Yeah. Where are you at? Yeah. You're going to go after your own? <laughs> no one is above the law. Yeah. Show me. Yep. Exactly. Show me. And by the way, we can help her. If Letitia James is watching. That clip should be used in her case and against him. By the way, let me help you, Letitia. And how stupid do these yeah. people think we are? Because the Deutsche Bank is one of the most famous banks in the entire world. Obviously, they're going to do their own due diligence, and they know what the Mar-a-Lago estate is worth. If it was truly worth $18 million, they wouldn't do what they did. It doesn't make sense. You should play that video. I'm sure you'll be allowed to play videos. I'm not but you will you know let's see it happen yeah. let's see no one is above the law i i can't when i hear that the hypocrisy in that statement uh, uh. show me 829 percent overvalue of his new york city home and that's a personal profit why don't they use the same consumer statute against him like they used against trump is john stewart actually going to court for this no, no, not, no, not yet. No, but no. I'm happy to assist. Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm happy to assist. No, no, this is just showing. Assess was 1.88 yeah. or whatever the number, and it sold for 17 or 18 and a half. I think that the, they're saying that was he the got, number. he got, yeah. It, it, look, we're highlighting the hypocrisy. Well, it's all hypocrisy. It's hypocrisy. It is, and, and it's, uh, and again, let's let, double standard. You, you nailed it. And let's talk about John Stewart for a second. He's a shill for the left. Still, Trump derangement syndrome at the highest. He had to come out of retirement. 
just to talk shit about Trump for this year, for election year, because nobody was watching The Daily Show. Wait. Nobody. Let's be honest. Nobody, nobody. watches it. Nobody Period. Watches. That victim that you're talking about, I mean, don't get me wrong. I hadn't Talented. even seen that. I, I don't watch none of that crap. But uh, that victim, remember the victim list? Hit the victim, John Stewart's victim, Whoever paid uh, yeah, lost $4 million on that deal. Yeah. And you nailed it. Letitia James will help you. He shoots out of New York. The address is on New York 11th <laughs> Ave and 52nd what, what is Street. That? That's the what? That's where John Stewart's Daily Show, they shoot there. Oh, okay. Go get him. Go get him. So I want, I, at least I want the people to understand, guys. That's it's taxpayer them. dollars. That's okay, them. you want to talk taxpayer dollars? Let's talk taxpayer dollars. Yeah. The Trump organization, Donald Trump, creates thousands of jobs. Yep. Thousands of jobs. They pay hundreds and hundreds of millions in employment taxes mm. to the state of New York. Do you know what you just did, Tish? You are running businesses. The Trump organization that makes the city money. More money than you will ever make in a judgment. Yep. You are, that's year after year. You're pushing businesses out of the state of New York. The John Stewart's of the world, the talking heads, the silliness, the silliness for politics. You are hurting the state of New York mm -hmm. because people are watching. And don't tell, who here has not heard from somebody in New York? I'm getting the hell out. Everybody, the majority of the people York, that I've so talked yeah. about, well, except for the ones that are in their little bubble that, you know, like uh, Robert De Niro, who who when, what, when they asked him like, hey, what's up with this crime? The the National Guard. He's like, yeah, I I don't see it. Yeah, because you're guarded. <laughs> driving, you're driving. guarded with people These with guns. People, so it's you don't so, see the hypocrisy. Yeah, I don't see crime. I got ten bodyguards. I'm in the nicest estate possible. I'm not in the slums like you people. Oh my god, you, you can't make this up. And these politicians that target businesses think they're looking out for the small guys. No, they're not. Because when you drive these people out, these are hundreds of thousands of workers that lose their jobs. Businesses should be promoted. You want people to have thriving businesses in your area. You shouldn't penalize them. You should reward them. That way more and more people come and then more people make a profit and everyone's happy. When you penalize these people, everyone's gonna leave. There's gonna be no work. There'll be homelessness everywhere. It's a huge problem. These people just don't realize. Yeah, but again, and, I, and I've been saying this for a while, uh, Alina, until it spreads and it starts hitting them, like with anything, with the open border, until one of their kids, yeah. God forbid, something happens with their kids or their family where an illegal does something to them, then and their yeah. tune stays the same. But wait until it starts happening to them. No, but even when that happens, they'll somehow blame Trump. Oh, That's for sure. That's what they do. They'll say, that, that, well, Trump didn't finish building the wall. Yeah, well, he why didn't right. he finish building the wall? Yeah. Because you wanted to mess around with an election, bring in millions and millions and millions of people illegally mm -hmm. so that they now let's give them all voting rights and let's give them 10 grand. Oh, yeah. Guess what? I just went overseas last week. I came in and I go, oh, wait a minute. I have to give my passport to customs. Why? <laughs> yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I go, why? And are you going to give me a credit card for 10 grand? Mm hmm. I'd like one. Please. Please. And a phone. And a phone. And I would like somebody to get kicked out of, of a hotel in New York so that I can stay for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, veterans. Which, by the way, everyone no that knows anything today. about history knows one of the reasons Rome fell is because that citizenship did not have the same value that it once did. And it almost seems like history is just repeating itself because America right now is penalizing its own citizens and it's trying to prop up people coming into this country illegally. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't have immigrants because we definitely should, we're founded on immigrants, but you have to come in legally in the right way. That way we know we're not getting criminals or people doing bad stuff. We want good people who will promote the economy and make this a better country. And both of my grandparents are immigrants. They came from Ireland and they came in the right way, did the hard work and they came in the right way. They worked long, hard hours and they did whatever it took to make that American dream alive. And it almost seems like now, the American government is penalizing its own citizens, and I don't know how much longer they can do this before there's not huge outrage. Because if you study history, you'll realize this is not going to end up well. This is going to end in major problems, so we need to fix this soon before it gets too late. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to smash a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation down below. I'd love to read that, and I wish you guys nothing but the best. Till next time.